How to make a battery if the world is dead, your flashlight's useless, and your only friend is a rotting squirrel. Please subscribe and like. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Power's gone. The grid? Dust. Your phone? A glorified paperweight. Last time anything lit up, it was a mutant chewing on a glow stick. But hey, you want to survive, right? Time to make a battery. Grab copper. Doesn't matter what. A wire, a coin, a pipe you yanked out of a corpse-filled bathtub. Now find zinc. Look for a galvanized nail, a bolt off an abandoned fence. Maybe pry something off that rusted shopping cart that screamed last night. Jam both into a lemon. Yeah, a lemon. If you find one, that is. If not, vinegar, pickle juice, boot sweat. Welcome to gourmet survival. Wrap some wire around your metal bits. Whatever you've got, barbed, burnt, maybe from that toaster you murdered last winter. Now stack them. Lemon, copper, zinc. Again. Again. Until your mess of citrus starts coughing out volts. Not much. Maybe enough to power a radio, or an LED, or just zap yourself for fun. You freak. Here's the science you didn't ask for. The acid makes electrons dance from zinc to copper. Boom! Electricity! That's it. That's the miracle. That's your dirty little light show. Your hands are sticky. Everything smells like apocalypse soup. But the radio crackles. You're not alone. Or worse, you are.